Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Steve DeCasa here. Uh, sorry it's been so while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I just got a new full-time gig, which is really awesome. I'm working in Manhattan. Um, right upstairs from where I work, where the editing suite is, is this beautiful studio. It's called uh, Set Studio. And um, they've been graciously able to uh, let me use the space after hours here. So that's where I'm right now. It's a working space, it's after hours. So if you hear anything going on, it's, it's I, I have no control. <laughs> Um, so what I want to talk about right now is, I don't know, some of you might have heard, the 5D Mark III is coming out. Um, it's available for, for pre-order right now at uh, Adorama or B&H. Um, it's $3,500, which is $1,000 more than the 5D Mark II when it came out. And I'm super duper excited. I mean, what the first thing that came out was the C300, f m Canon's monster camera that everyone was thinking was going to be the, the, the next best thing. And it is a great camera. It has some limitations uh, compared to the RED or to the, um, um, any of the more popular cinema cameras. And of course, it's way out of the price range, something like $11,000, $13,000, $20,000. I forget how much it was. And then all of a sudden in my inbox, I get an email from Adorama saying, 5D Mark III, here it is. I was like, holy shit, this is great. So basically, I just wanted to make a video about it and let all my subscribers know that I am planning on getting it as soon as possible. I'm gonna have to trade in my 5D Mark II, uh, see what I can get for it. It's in pretty good condition. Actually, it's in great condition, so I should get some money for it. And then put the rest of, put some of my savings towards the new one. Then I'm just gonna learn as much about it, make some films on it, make some videos, and uh, hopefully be giving you guys a lot more content uh, in the next coming weeks and months. So what are some new things about the 5D Mark III? Well, first of all, my favorite, 30 minute record time. Now, that's just great. Everyone who's been using the SLRs for the last four years has known that 12 minutes um, sucks. It, it was kind of cool for a little while because it went back to the days of film where if you've ever worked on film, you might have a thousand feet of film, you might have 400 feet of film. It's kind of like the same thing. Uh, when a thousand feet's up, I think that's something around, and with 35 millimeter, a thousand feet is around 11 minutes. So it was kind of nostalgic in a way to have to be able to, to have to cut at 11 minutes, 11, 12 minutes. Uh, but now that's out the window, uh, 30 minute record time. What else is new? Uh, one of the new things that I really love about the 5D Mark III coming out is the dual memory card slot. Now, I'm pretty sure, I, haven't, I don't have it in my hands, but I'm pretty sure the research I've done, when I say dual memory card slot, I don't mean two CF cards or two SD cards. It's actually one CF and one SD slot. And to my understanding, um, there's a couple of different modes you can do. You can record onto one and when it fills up goes to the other card which is great uh, no switching cards if you're in a live event situation um, or you can record to both cards simultaneously uh, making a, a, a an instant backup and that's really great too um, i know uh, the wedding company i work for the first thing we do when we fill up a card is if we put it right into our backup drive and that drive i think cost my boss like two thousand dollars so to be able to record on two sets of media at the same time and have an immediate backup in case one fails that can really help out for, for really important things. Even for a short film, I mean, it's great to have a backup. Now, going back to the 30 minute record time, what happens when you hit the 30 minute mark? Uh, will it go to the next card? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that once 30 minutes is hit, it stops recording. Now I've learned recently that the reason for these whole record time limits is actually a legal issue. It has nothing to do with the 5D overheating or the 5D just not having enough space on the memory card. It has to do with the legal definition of a still camera versus a video camera. Um, up until a year ago or a year and a half ago, the law stated that at 12 minutes, up until 12 minute video record time, it's a still camera. Once it passes there, it's a video camera. And there's a lot of legal, maybe taxes or whatever involved for the companies making these cameras that they didn't want to have to go through that red tape calling it a video camera when it really is a still camera. No one knew when Canon invented the 5D Mark II that people were going to be using it for cinematography as much as they are. So apparently, some time ago, within, the, within this uh, interim, the law has been changed to the legal definition of 30 minutes. And that's pretty awesome. I'm sure still people are going to put up a stink, but that's still pretty awesome to be able to record for 30 minutes at a clip. I mean, I know doing weddings, um, usually the shortest ceremony you have will be about 25 minutes. And it'd be nice to have an uncut clip of that ceremony. 
One of the other things that's new about the 5D Mark III is uh, the compression type for video. You actually have two choices. You have one type of compression that's really compressed and you'll get uh, more footage out of your memory card. Um, there's a chart that you can find. Maybe I, I can put the link in the description. And then there's another compression you can select that is less compressed, but therefore you'll have bigger file sizes and less footage that will be able to fit on your memory card. I don't have the camera in front of me. I haven't used it yet, but are the two compressions really different from each other? Something I'm definitely gonna test and try out for you guys. Another great thing is it's got a new sensor. It's jumped up a whole megapixel. So the 5D Mark II is 21.5 megapixels. 5D Mark III, 22.3 megapixels. Well, almost a whole megapixel, but still. But regardless, it's a new sensor. And in the four years since the last one, they've been able to get better ISO quality out of it. Now I'm pretty sure that from my research that you can actually go down to 50 ISO, which is really good. I've actually been in really bright situations outside where 100 ISO was just a hair too bright and it would have been really nice to go down to 50 ISO. Now, is that something that's available only in still capture mode or is that available in movie mode? Um, I think it's available in, in video, which is great. Also, apparently um, the ISOs are gonna be less grainy. So maybe we can jump up to like 2,500 ISO or 5,000 ISO and it'll be just as grainy as maybe 1250 ISO, I don't know. Once again, I'm gonna be doing some tests and, giving, and making sure you guys see it. Unfortunately, I won't have my 5D Mark II and 5D Mark III at the same time because I need to turn it in to get the other one. So I'm gonna do some test footage beforehand and hopefully it'll compare with the new test footage. Another awesome thing about the new camera, finally, we get to do some slow-mo. That's right, the 5D Mark III will have 60 frames a second mode. Of course, it's 720p, but it's 60 frames a second. So now you no longer need to go out and get the 7D, the 60D, the T2i to do some 60 frames for some slow-mo. And that's awesome. Basically, it's the first DSLR camera that's full frame that you can do slow-mo in. And I think that's really awesome. I think the depth of field and the clarity of the full frame sensor with the slow-mo, it's gonna look sick. If you don't know what I mean about full frame as opposed to crop sensor, you can check out my video right here that explains it in detail. It also has other frame rates. Uh, it says that it has 24 frames, 25 frames, uh, 30 frames a second. Of course, I really mean 23.98 frames and, and 29.97, but you know, what I, you know what I mean. Also, I believe it can do 50 frames a second and 60 frames a second. So it's got multiple frame rates, which is really awesome. What's not good about the 5D Mark III? Well, I really love the flip out screen from the 60D. In fact, I'm shooting this right now on a 60D and I didn't need to bother getting an external monitor. I can see myself perfectly. So I really wish the 5D Mark III had a flip out screen. At least from my research, it doesn't have a flip out screen but oh my God, that would have just put the icing on the cake. But now I'm gonna have to invest in a little monitor. I've always needed to anyway, I gotta get one. Another thing Mark III has is time code. Maybe people aren't used to it by now, working with these cameras, but time code would be a really good thing. What's cool also, it's gonna have another video feature. It's gonna have free record, which means the time code's gonna run even when you're not recording. That'd be great for some more old school videographers out there. Personally, I myself, I don't really care about the time code. I'm really using it for more of a filmmaking, but it's definitely a good addition. Something that's really cool as well is manual audio levels while you're recording. That's pretty cool. Now, I use the Zoom uh, H4N recorder, and if you wanna know more about it, you can check out my tutorial on it right here. Um, so I, don't, I, I like to do separate system, but uh, it will make it a lot easier for um, people to use the Canon 5D with embedded audio. I know a lot of people love the Rode mic, and to make it even more simple, the Canon 5D Mark III will have a headphone jack. The simplest thing ever that you could add to a camera, it'll make it, and, and it should have had it forever, and it's gonna be great. Finally, a headphone jack. Now you can listen to your levels while you're recording. You don't have to play it back and listen to the audio coming out of the camera. Great addition. I don't know why the 60D doesn't have that, or though maybe it does. I don't think so though. Now, the 5D Mark III is a still camera. That's what it was designed for. So it's gonna have a lot of new updates for still photographers out there that, hey, we can take advantage of too. Uh, one of the ones that I find pretty interesting is it's gonna have HDR. I guess it's taking a note from the uh, iPhone. <laughs> but it's really cool. You get to take three different pictures and it's gonna take the dark areas, make them a little brighter, the light areas, make them a little darker and merge them in camera to make a high dynamic range photo. So that's pretty cool. I'll be checking it out. Of course, it's got new everything. It's got a new monitor on the back. It's got new autofocus. It's got new picture styles. 
Um, actually, one of the cool ones is like a custom picture style where you can mess around with the picture style in camera more than just the custom features that's in the 5D Mark II. All this information that I learned about the 5D Mark III I got from Adorama, which is a great store. They're located in New York City on like 17th Street around Union Square. I'm subscribed to them. Uh, they keep me up to date. Uh, I'm even subscribed to the Canon newsletter too, so they've been telling me stuff. But uh, the link to pretty much everything that I'm telling you right now is in the description. Check it out. And if you've learned anything as well and you want to share it with me, have I gotten anything wrong in this video, please leave a comment, uh, make a video response, and let me know because, I mean, we're all helping each other out. So all in all, I am super excited for the 5D Mark III. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I cannot wait to play with it. I cannot wait to record and see on the screen 13 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get, I got chills just thinking about it. So as soon as I get it, I will let you guys know. As soon as I get it, you know what? I might even do an unboxing video. That's how excited I am about it. So as soon as I get it, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll put up a video immediately, uh, maybe make a little test footage and show it to you guys. But please, like all my videos, subscribe, uh, and stay tuned. I know it's been a little bit dry for a while, but there's some more stuff coming, especially since I'm in a place like this. So stay tuned, and uh, I'm Steve DeCasa. Happy filmmaking.